Today we want uh, to have a look at our workflow for this Fountain project. And the first step, like always, is to go in FreeCAD and design the geometry. And in this case we have to make a cube. And uh, the cube needs to have an inlet. And that's almost all. Um, because the fountain will be simulated into the cube. And yes, the cube of course will be the mesh and the complete case. And um, we make uh, inlet condition at the inlet we, you will see in a, sh in a few seconds. And we will make a outlet condition in the on the on top of the cube just to let the pressure go out there. And like you can see here, I my normal workflow is to make just the lines in the sketch module and then sweep uh, the line sweep the geometry around the lines in the parts uh, menu in FreeCut. And that's all we do here. So we make the box and the circle and sweep both of them. And then we have to make a union of them. That's important for this step here. That's the two geometries are one united geometry later because uh, we don't want to have any boundaries inside the mesh. And so the bottom of this circle here will be the inlet and the top of the circle here, like you can see, will go open into, uh, into the box. And this simple geometry made uh, calculation errors in open foam. And that's why we have to round all the edges, all the sharp edges uh, in the geometry first. Um, like you can see here in FreeCut, it's quite simple. You have to select your uh, combined geometry and then uh, round all the edges like you saw. And now we are already in Salome and uh, define the inlet, outlet and the walls. That's uh, quite simple, like you can see also in my previous tutorial for the meshing part. And when we have the inlet and outlets, we have to uh, define the mesh and the quality of the mesh. And for this case, um, I had a very a big mesh and very big uh, cells in the mesh. So the animation doesn't <laughs> does not look very pretty and realistic. But um, of course, when you have more computing power and more time to let the simulation run, you can make the mesh much uh, smaller. And then the simulation in the end will look uh, more realistic, of course. And now it's time for the first run. And for the first run, I... Ah, uh, no. Now first we have to convert, of course, the UNV file we just exported from Salome. I didn't show it here in the video because I forgot to re record. Um, of course, like you can see in the tutorials, you have to export the UNV file again and convert it to uh, the, into the open form case. And then we can use uh, my, my um, default case that I have on GitHub. I will put the link in the description. And then you have to adjust some settings there, uh, especially the velocity in the U file. And I think, um, yeah, the, of course, in the control dict, uh, some time steps uh, like you. Yes, like you have computing power or not. And uh, then you can, of course, calculate on many CPUs. Um, but I will link all the tutorials down below. And usually I cancel the calculation after a few steps to have a small preview in Paraview. And uh, like we can see here, it's um, looking uh, quite okay in the first steps. The red dot here in the mesh is uh, our water inlet. And because we have only calculated a very few steps, 
there nothing not much happens there but we can see okay the red uh, area is expanding into the box so the direction of the velocity is uh, okay and the calculation steps are also look also good so we can go on with these settings And in Paraview, when you want to visualize your results from the simulation, you have different uh, options. Um, and I will, I think, I will make another tutorial, sp especially for Paraview. So, uh, because it's a bit, yeah, not complicated, but there are many, many options, and you only need a few of them. So I will make that in a special tutorial just for Paraview. And so now we are done and we can see again the simulation <laughs> and then goodbye until next time.